Hey guys, Dirk here from Broke Motorcycles. Today we're working on the XSR 900 front valence headlight bracket and lighting kit. We offer three options, the JW Speaker 8700, the truck light, and our builder kit, which will fit most seven inch lamps. With our three options, it's important to note that the truck light and the JW Speaker come fully assembled, uh, ready to plug and play and we've developed a custom ABS spacer for each of these lights so that they're perfectly centered and spaced out in the housing. For our builder kit, we're going to provide you with a more generic ABS spacer that should work with most seven inch lamps. Today we'll be installing the truck light option. Uh, in the kit, it includes the valence cover and associated hardware and the LSL machined aluminum headlight brackets and it's worth noting that this kit does not include turn indicators but for the video we pre-installed some. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the lamp from the bucket and that is done by removing the two allen bolts on either side here and here. Once the bolts are removed you're going to want to remove the headlight from the bucket and to do that, you're gonna lift from the bottom. There's a little clip up here. So lift from the bottom and kind of gently pull down. And then once the headlight's in your hand, pull the plug out of the back and set us up. Now that the headlight is removed, uh, the next step you're gonna wanna do is loosen up this wire tie right here. To do that, use a pick or a small flathead, reach behind it, hit the release and pull it out, just like that. Next, you're gonna wanna grab your punch and uh, this retaining clip right here, you're gonna wanna hit it dead center right there and just a gentle push till it pops. Now that frees up the wiring harness to move forward, just like that. And now get your pair of needle nose pliers out and you're gonna wanna push these wire retainers through by gripping the tabs and gently applying pressure. Next step is to remove the wires from the harness bracket and disconnect all of the connections. Now that everything's disconnected, we can remove the forward headlight mounting bolts and remove the bucket itself. Next, gently feed the wires back through the back of the bucket and pull the headlight bucket away from the bike. Next, remove the stock valence cover. And although these are Phillips head screws, they seem to be, they're actually clips and we find it is best just to reach back here and push the centers out like so. Next, remove the brake line clip right here. Next, you're gonna wanna disconnect the horn wires there and right there. And we're gonna wanna remove this bolt and the one over here. So move the brake line out of the way. That'll give you access to the bolt heads. Next, you're gonna wanna remove these two wire clips right here. To do that, you get up underneath the tab over on this side, lift, and it should release just like so.
Next, we're going to want to remove the gauge cluster. And to do that, you're going to want to pull the cover off or back, expose the wires. There's a little clip on this side, push down and pull out just like that. Then you want to remove the bolts in the back here. Now that the cluster is removed, you want to remove the cluster bracket. And then finally, to remove the stock headlight bracket assembly, remove the bolts here and here. So now we're trying to get this bracket away from the bike. And there's one more wire clip we need to worry about down here. Now, it should be free to maneuver the wires around the bracket and slip the bracket out. Next, you're gonna wanna get some, some towels, preferably microfiber, and place them in areas to protect the paint, namely the tank here. And also the fender. Now we're gonna wanna loosen up the handlebar grips and take the whole assembly and swing it out from here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to loosen up the pinch bolts here and here. And grab your 27 millimeter socket. And we're gonna use a bag just so we don't mar up the nut here. Now you're gonna to wanna to remove the washer here. Gently rock the triple tree back and forth, off the forks, lift up, and set it forward out of the way. Next, we're ready, ready to install the headlight bracket. Uh, like we mentioned before, these do not come included with turn signals. Um, we pre-installed ours uh, for this video, but uh, these brackets can fit any eight millimeter turn signal that you want. And it's worth noting that you can loosen up these two bolts, flip this around and have the signal on bottom or the top, either way. Uh, so next, you're gonna wanna take your headlight bracket and slip it over the triple tree, or the, the fork, rather. And bring it down. And you might be able to notice, um, it's easier to see close up, there's machine lines, uh, an edge down to about here. You want the top of the bottom of the bracket to be even with that edge. So it should look something like that. Next, you're gonna wanna just snug this up. And we're keeping it pretty loose right now because we're going to adjust it later. Next, you're gonna to wanna to install other headlight bracket. And I forgot to mention this before, but the LSL headlight brackets come with these slip spacers, and this should go into the bottom bigger ring before you slide it onto the fork, just like so. Bring it down to that machine line. And just snug it up. Now that the headlight brackets are loosely installed, we're going to want to reinstall the triple tree. Very carefully bring it up. The handlebars are going to want to come with it. Slightly let them dangle. Bring the triple tree up here. Do what we did 
did before in reverse, walk it down. Like so. And before you do the pinch bolts, we're going to do the stem nut. Next, reinstall the washer. Slip the stem nut on. Just snug it up by hand. And then take your torque wrench, set to 80 foot pounds. Um, get your plastic bag or whatever you want to protect the stem nut. 27 millimeter socket, like so. And then torque it to the right spec. So now we're going to tighten up these pinch bolts to the specified torque, which is 19 foot-pounds. Now you're going to want to gently bring up the handlebars, put them back into the seat, and you should be able to see the track marks of where they were installed before. And then with the dimple, little dimple in the front here, Facing forward of the bike, install the clamp bracket. So now that these are Somewhat snug, evenly tightened. The handlebars are gripped in place. You're gonna to wanna to tighten them to spec, which is 16 foot-pounds. That's one six foot-pounds. So next we're gonna install the, reinstall the gauge cluster and bracket but we need to make sure that these wires are cleanly routed from bottom to top here. And if you choose so, you can reuse these wire ties like we did there and there, and then bring this forward and make sure it's clean and looks about like that. Next, you're gonna wanna reinstall the gauge bracket. Now reinstall the hardware on the back of the gauge and a little trick since you're threading into plastic is back it off a little bit and then bring it in. So now we're going to do some wire routing and let's get these uh, blinkers out of the way and you're going to want to connect everything together now. So, uh, we've almost finished our wire routing here. I just wanted to point out a few things. Um, a, it is obviously in a circular shape and uh, the wires naturally form that shape because they were housed in the bucket before and we're gonna take advantage of that. And you wanna make all the connections run it into your circle, and then find strategic points to uh, zip tie everything together. Uh, you wanna keep this mounting point clear with plenty of clearance around here, and that'll become apparent here in a minute. And uh, another important point is you wanna zip tie this brake line to the wire harness, and make sure you zip tie around this rubber uh, spacer here so that uh, you're not zip tying directly onto the brake, brake line. That would be wrong. This is how you want to do it. Um, keep in mind you want your headlight connection free and coming out forward and also your horn connection coming out relative in this area. The next step is to install the horn right here. Move the wire out of the way real quick. Next, it's time to install the Brogue Valence. So, I'm gonna grab this piece. The 
provided washer, and then the stock setup for the mounts on this side. And what you're going to do is put the valence up. You're going to put a, this on the inside of the valence in between the triple tree and the valence cover. And I'm going to pull through. This, this is from the stock headlight. It's a piece that is a spacer that goes right there on the stock setup. We're gonna use it and use it as a spacer for the valence cover that fits right into there. And provide a bolt. So now's a good time to make sure that your wire routing is secure and that there's no binding. And you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna move the handlebars from lock to lock and just to double check that nothing gets hung up. So now we're ready to install the headlight itself. And we have our truck light right here. Um, we've already made the uh, headlight connection, just plugs in real easy. And you're gonna wanna put that wiring right in the middle of our circle of wires back here and then um, position it and at this point it should be just snug and you want to dry fit this and position these so you know that they line up or are pretty close and then tighten the rings back here so that it doesn't move around on you. We've already done that uh, so now it's time to put the actual headlight into the bracket. So already have the hardware on this side ready to go and that's just so I can show you easily for the video. I'm going to just hand tighten that one in. And then this side, how you want to do the hardware stack up is the washer and bolt goes in the outside like that and then the provided spacer and rubber grommet go on the inside and you want the rubber grommet towards the bucket of the light, like that. So just slip that in there. So now that everything's installed, it's time to set the headlight and make sure your low and high beams are at the right height. There's a lot of videos and how-tos online. We're not going to get to the specifics, but generally you need to be a certain distance away from a wall and the light needs to be at a certain height.